The Associated Press media agents for the Obama regime dispatched a story detailing the miserable plight of public sector workers. Opening sentence, conservative Republicans have long clamored for government downsizing. They're starting to get it by default. The article's takeaway is that thousands of government workers are losing their jobs and the evil Republicans won't go along with Obama's plan to save them by increasing deficit spending. Never mind, AP, that the federal government has more employees now than when the recession started, or that the real enormous job losses have been in the private sector. And here are a couple of other stories deserving attention. Dateline, Illinois, we learned this week that two lobbyists with no prior teaching experience were allowed to work as substitute teachers for one day so they could retire on public pensions based on their union salaries. If they live through their 70s, both men will collect over a million dollars in benefits. That story came on the heels of another one about Illinois union leader Dennis Gannon, whose pension is so high it exceeds federal limits. City of Chicago is required to file special paperwork with the IRS to grant it. Gannon also was hired by the city for one day to claim a $150,000 a year government pension. No wonder Democrats are in collusion with unions. These government workers are their campaign donors. Bottom line, let's cancel AP's pity party for the government workers until we learn the whole story.